I've got two hundred and fifty two thousand dollars in Raymond James and three hundred and fifty thousand in uh Chase. Should I be concerned the one's a little bit higher risk than the other ones they've done they're doing well. But I'm just wondering if I need to be thinking about moving that somewhere else. Uh I like the financial guys I have. I mean they're Obviously, they're company people, and they're making a profit off of me. Sure. But I'm just kind of sure. concerned. I'm always hearing you talking about biblical responsibility, and I believe that's a real thing. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm kind of lost which direction to go with it. Well, <laughs> I, it's really a tough call because if you're satisfied with what you have and you're, you know, you're, you're making gains, that's a good thing. Um, one, uh, you know, the, you're paying some fees for that, of course, but I, but I say this all, all the time. And I, I, um, being biblically responsible is, is just a conviction. I mean, it's not a, it's not a strategy. I mean, I, the, my investment strategies on my website are a strategy that happen to be biblically responsible, because if you follow the strategy, you're not buying any stocks or investing in anything unless it's on my list. And if it's on my list, it's biblically responsible. So it is it is a strategy, but um, you you need to have uh, a real conviction that you know that's what you want to do. You you are you you are you have come to the realization that, you know, it's all God's money. You wouldn't have it if it weren't for his blessing. He has given us, because he says so in his word, he has given us the stewardship responsibility. So he has given us the responsibility to manage his money, and he, and he wants it managed. Um, you know, we have to think about managing that and and doing it good and faithfully so that we feel good about giving some of it to kingdom work. Um, God doesn't need us to give to his work. Um, he could, he could fix it all and give them all they need in a, in a heartbeat, but he is depending on his people to be his instruments here and to be good stewards and to keep good works, um, funded. I mean, that's what we need to do. We need to keep our church doors open, uh, uh, first and foremost. So, um, I, I just think it is, I, I don't, I, you know, I, I hesitate. I know how I feel about it, but I don't want to, um, uh, force my, my convictions on anybody, but I feel as though we have a somewhat of a, a sacred obligation to not to grieve the heart of God. He's especially when he's been so good to us and he does promise to provide for our needs and he will, but, um, we need to, um, you know, be convicted that, hey, I, I don't, I, I, I don't want to support abortion. I just don't. I don't want, you know, the, the moral fiber of this country is, is going to hell in a handbasket because of things like gambling and pornography and, and abortion. I don't, I don't want to support those things because I know if Jesus were walking this earth, he wouldn't be investing in the companies that are investing in those things. He just wouldn't. And we know that if we know anything about the nature of God. So I think that um, we will be blessed by that. I don't know what the blessing looks like, but we will, uh, it's different for everybody, I suspect. But we will be, we will, we will feel a peace. We will be blessed by that. So, uh, but at the same time, you know, I mean, I hate to tell you to leave something that is, that has been good to you, but I would submit to you that though it's been good to you, it'll be better for you uh, in the, uh, when, when you uh, begin to really be consciously honoring God. So I wouldn't suggest to leave them. I would suggest that you go to them. And you would say, hey, look, it's an opportunity for you to give testimony. They don't have to understand it. They don't even have to care. But you're their client. And you can go to them and say, look, my conviction is um, I don't want to support these, these things. And I, uh, I want to support companies that aren't supporting all this garbage or aren't profiting from the garbage like casinos or, 
or, um, you know, other things, pornography, entertainment, those kinds of things. So, and say, would you be willing to look at these things that I'm suggesting to you so you would have to still partner with the ministry and get on the website? I have thousands of investment advisors that are also partners that look at that stuff for their clients. So um, maybe they'll do that. Maybe they'll do that for you. Maybe you won't have to move. And maybe you can keep these these uh, men or women, whatever, and look and 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 use them. And maybe they'll honor your wishes to be biblically responsible. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.